Hi guys, <laughs> I am Kishori and I am the owner of Coco Tree Confectionery and this handsome young man right here is one of my managers, Hello. Brogan Ringgold. We opened in March of 2020. We're located in Mequon and uh, we are proudly still open. I attribute that to two things. One of them is the gorgeous chocolate right in front of you. Yes. You guys go ahead and start sampling that Beautiful. right there. Beautiful. You mean the things that look like marbles? Yes, those things that look <laughs> look like marbles. I promise they're not gonna they're not gonna crack your teeth. Yeah. Um, oh, this is hard. I'll take this one. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I want another one of these. <laughs> <laughs> have at it, really have at it. The red one is our sour cherry. Yes. Um, the yellow raspberry, one. Raspberry, purple. Exactly, mm -hmm. purple for the raspberry yeah. and uh, and so forth. Which cut? Which is this one? Uh, I think you you took the hazelnut caramel. Yeah, it's really good. Was that your Thank second you. one or your first one? This is my second. Oh. Every single one of those recipes, you know, I came up with those, and they're a labor of love. So mm. I'm proud of every single one of those recipes. You, manu you manufacture everything in house? Absolutely, absolutely. And where, where where do you get your cocoa? I use only Berry Calibo products, and uh, that's Belgian chocolate. Mm. Um, we it's use really only good. Coverture chocolate, only the best of everything. Um, it's expensive and the costs mm -hmm. have gone up. And so, it, you know, it's interesting when you cut, talk about expense, like Peg would say, it sometimes expense means quality. Yes. 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 Exactly. I right. gave but you learning, a lesson. Learning from you. Right. Yep. I'm a slow learner, but I'll catch on every once in a while. <laughs> well, it's, only, it's only been seven seasons. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just expense, but... Absolutely. You get what you pay for. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Tell us about your marketing strategy. Right there. You need to, um, well, that's we have, true. <laughs> we have a huge banner um, on Mequon Road and Port Washington Road that says, you need chocolate. That has probably gotten us more attention mm. than anything else. Do, do you want to scale your business? We assume you do, and how do you plan to do that? More so than scaling um, upwards, we want to scale outward. Mm. What does you that know? mean? What we want to do is expand our space physically. Mm. The space we have right now is very, very small. We cannot be as efficient as we'd like to be because I can't have too many employees in one space. Mm -hmm. The ambient temperature goes up sure. and that's not good for sure. chocolate. And we'd also like to have a larger workspace so that we can teach classes mm -hmm. in the community. Wow. We can have birthday parties. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now might be a good time, Jerry. <laughs> um, we're actually gonna have you cast a mold. Oh, we're gonna show you how I'm, a, do it. I'm a slow learner. We're you gonna have go patience. slow for you. Repetition, repetition for me is pretty good. Well, Brogan's actually gonna show oh. you how to do that. Yes. Okay. So right. I, I trained him, and now he's gonna train apron you. Apron and gloves for you. Uh, when, just out of curiosity, in terms of your story, mm -hmm. when did you get this dream? When did you start thinking about how you might use your passion? Um, my daughter is allergic to peanuts, and I could not find her a nut-free Easter bunny. And so I thought, you know what? I am actually gonna try and make her one. And uh, that didn't go well <laughs> the first couple of times I tried to do it. So um, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take a couple of classes. Mm -hmm. And that just kind of took off. Mm. So, so we're gonna make we're gonna make some chocolate yeah, I'll, here? I'll kind of show explain me how? to you what yeah, he's doing I'll show. as he's doing yeah. here. So. I think you should talk for a bit. You should kind of take the show over. You want? Yeah, actually, okay. go ahead. Go All ahead. right, so this is our Guayaquil chocolate, so it's dark chocolate, obviously the best quality, as Kishori mentioned before. <laughs> so to start, you just take the spoon and you're just gonna fill each of these cavities with the chocolate. Well, properly tempered chocolate, and, and that's one of the things that I have to train these guys, is chocolate has to stay at a correct temperature in order to cling to the mold. You sell direct to consumer. We do. Do you have other channels in which you get your chocolate out there? We have partnered with Bartolotta restaurants. Oh. They have been just amazing. That's been huge for us. Absolutely. So we can't say enough about them. So here comes the fun part. All right, so you're gonna tap out all the excess air because we don't want any bubbles. Okay. You want some help chocolate. at all? Or? I'm, I, got, I got, got it. I can help you if you want. Flip it over. Wow. Oh, yep. it. He's making it rain. Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, look at that oh, technique. Look at, look at you, wow. <laughs> Basically a pro already. I love your sign. That sign makes people stop on the highway, and I'm positive. They go, oh yeah, I need a piece of chocolate right now. Yeah, we figured I, I have about, you know, 20 seconds to get their attention, so it had to be, you know, quick. It had to be something that would catch their eye right away. That was what we were thinking, exactly. See, I told you I was a little slow loaded.
What was your background before yeah. this? Oh. Uh -oh. All good, all good. Scrape the sides. Sides? Uh, my background is actually, I have a degree in business. Oh, okay. So. Perfect. This is how we Beautiful. did, guys. What do we Not think? Bad. What do we think? Very Not bad. Good. Very Not good. Bad. Thank you. And actually, I'm going to show you guys through the, the magic of television. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you guys what happens after it's all done. You, you know, we crack them out. And we have all these lovely bonbons right here in front of you. Ta-da! How can we help you scale out? Yeah. Um, really, it is to get the larger sized. So you're more productive. Yeah. My goal is not to be that big. Yeah. Because what we do is not automated. Right. I cannot and will not automate. Yes. Love Everything that. we do is by hand. But as you scale out, you're talking about scaling out, mm -hmm. then you grow as you scale out. My goal is not to ever automate. Yeah, but just just with scaling out with your size, without automating. Yes. Yeah. That's a good business model. Absolutely, because my my goal is to be the best. It's not to be the biggest. Very impressive company. Yes. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, uh, you thank you. Thank so you guys. Much.